When you're dealing with Civil 3D objects, Civil 3D has a great way of organizing all of those objects that you've created within your drawing in a very nice and simplified way. The way that you get to that panel is through the Home tab and then select Tool Space. Now you're going to be spending a lot of time within this particular panel. We've already discussed the Settings tab in a previous exercise, but in this exercise we're going to be discussing the Prospector tab. And the Prospector tab has a list of all of the Civil 3D objects that you've created within your drawing. See how well it's organized? We have our points, point groups, surfaces, alignments, and so on. If I expand the surfaces, you'll see that I have three different surfaces. In fact, if I select the existing grade surface, or EG, I can right click and hit select, and it selects my existing grade surface and it brings up the ribbon with all of the different options that I can use to manipulate that particular surface. If I escape to deselect, I'll go into my alignments, expand my alignments, and I'm going to select road 1. I'll right click and click select and you'll see that it selects my road alignment. I'll go ahead and escape one more time to deselect. I'm going to go into my pipe networks expand this, expand networks, and then select network 1. If I right click and select zoom 2, it zooms into a particular area where my pipe networks are located. If I right click on this, then hit select, it selects my entire storm sewer network. Go ahead and look in the contextual ribbon for that pipe network and select edit pipe network we get this little toolbar that we'll use in order to edit this particular network but I want to draw your attention to this button right here which is called the pipe network vista go ahead and select this and you'll see that in our tool space we have this little button that's currently depressed within our tool space this is what's known as the panorama palette if I click this once more that palette will disappear if I click it again, then it'll bring it back up. So these are some of the different options that you have when you're dealing with the Prospector tab. Lastly, if we shut all of this stuff down, and we scroll all the way down within our tool space, you'll notice that there's an area for data shortcuts. We'll discuss data shortcuts in later videos, but within the Prospector, your data shortcuts will appear down below within your Prospector tab. Anytime you want to grab a data shortcut from another drawing and bring it into the drawing you're currently working on as a reference, that reference will appear within your Prospector tab. So these are just some of the ways that Civil 3D has organized Civil 3D objects to appear within your Prospector tab in a very organized and efficient manner. Whether they're created in your current drawing or referenced as a data shortcut from a separate drawing.